Okay, here she goes. Go Mary, go Mary. Good job, good job, good job. <laughs> what? Just Peter I'm... was like, do I just inject it in my leg? Welcome to the video for today, which is... Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> which is... Um, <laughs> we've been on a little trying, trial and error, figuring out if there is going to be any helpful treatment option for my continual or like, what's the word? Reoccurring. Reoccurring migraines. We met with um, two neurologists a few weeks ago and there were a couple of meds that they were hoping I could start. And then after talking with my cystic fibrosis team, they were like, eh, eh. those could be hard on your liver. And being on Trikafta means that my liver's already under a good amount of pressure. Plus, <laughs> the joke. What's the joke? My liver's under pressure because I have portal hypertension. Uh, <laughs> no, man. Um, yeah, so I already have liver disease, so we want to relieve as much tension on my liver as possible. So we didn't do those other meds. So then the neurologist prescribed Imgality. It's interesting. I used to feel really bad for people who had to do injections. And I've realized this year between sub QIG and a few other things, I've learned a lot more about how to do injections on myself. So it took kind of the fear factor down. I still feel bad for people who have to do injections because I know sometimes it hurts, sometimes it doesn't, and you just gotta go with it. And so if this video can take the fear down at all for you, if you are getting ready to do an injection of any sort on yourself, this year started with um, me figuring out how to do a subcutaneous injection of Neupogen, which is a bone marrow stimulant because I had a virus in March and um, my bone marrow was super suppressed. And so it was at the point where my doctors said, we need to get you Neupogen shot in you. So they called it in my local pharmacy. Oh wait, no they didn't. They called it into the hospital pharmacy. We had to have friends pick it up for us because at that time we were waiting for a COVID test to know like we were like quarantined at home. And so Mary, what, I, I just think, you know, what did you do when you had to do that Neupogen shot? What did you do today when you have to do this shot? You pulled out your phone and you... Watch videos. Went on YouTube and looked up, how do you do this? I'm also curious to see what the um, instructions say. Yeah. Because I know for different people, it works differently. Uh, techniques, you know, as you learn. Hi, you want to help us? Thank you so much. Thank you for having okay, me. Okay, I'm going to go wash my hands and I need to grab... What do you need? Alcohol? I certainly need alcohol. Okay. Um, I think I have some in my medicine tray. But yeah, uh, different techniques work for different people. What I try today probably won't be what I do next month. Yeah, so this is not an instructional, but one of the reasons we show these kinds of things here on the Fry Life is I feel like it kind of started way back early on i'm trying to think it was 2015 we're vlogging every day we're showing mary's journey with cf and we're like let's show how we access mary's port and we made this port video and people from all over the world watched that port video of how to access a port cath and we're so thankful that it was a helpful video for a lot of people in fact we recently had a home nurse come when Mary had to start sub QIG and she's like, I think I've seen one of your videos. Is it like you're laying upside down on a table? <laughs> uh, yes, that yep, is us. That is the port video. Um, but anyways, we want to welcome people into our story and Mary's like, I got to learn how to do this and other people are going to have to learn how to do this. and. Let's do it together here on the internet. Yeah, and I also just think really, I remember um, when I needed to get my feeding tube button changed out for the very first time, I was so nervous. Mm. I was so nervous. And I think Christina Doherty had a video here on YouTube and I watched it and it helped me. It brought my fear factor 
down so much. Yeah. And um, I, I really. I have a feeling your vi your feeding tube video has done that for a lot of people because so. it has like two million views. Well. There we go. So I'm going to figure out how to do this. It is subcutaneous, which I'm really glad about because that's what I have most experience with. If it was intramuscular, I would probably request to be trained on it. Yeah. Like you could go into your clinic and they could train you or sometimes they'll send you a home nurse or something, but it's subcutaneous. So I feel good about figuring it out on my own. It's a different mechanism. Like the Neupogen shot was just we drew up the medicine into the syringe and then I stabbed. This is my sign for Stab. injections. Okay. I usually go like, when's your next? I have a friend on a different kind of injection. I'm like, when's your next shot? <laughs> Sorry, it's probably not very comforting, but now that's what my sign is gonna be for this. I think Ollie's trying to steal the show. Do you need something, okay, buddy? So from my videos that I've watched, but actually, I need, um, do you mind running up to get um, uh, alcohol? Because I yep. worked in my bin and I don't have okay. any down here. So as most subcutaneous injections go, you can do it basically anywhere where you have fat. Um, back of your arm, tummy, thighs, buttocks, and uh, I'm waffling between trying to do it on my stomach um, you're supposed to stay two inches away from your belly button. I did not know that uh, when I did the um, Neupogen injection and I did it pretty stinking close to my belly button. So uh, I don't know, but I have to do two of these and I don't know if I have like two inches. Well, I wonder if I could do it back here. I feel like maybe I will do it back here. I feel like I have a good amount back here. Yeah. I think that's a good place. I mean, they don't have that listed, but it, it should just say, like, wherever you have your most fat. Oh, it does say abdomen. But, like, uh -oh. yeah, but I kinda, guess it, it kind of curves around. It shows it on the diagram. Okay. Um, uh. Okay. Okay. So, can you just make sure I don't miss anything? Okay. Um, or, oh, I almost feel like you're going to have to do it. I don't know. Okay. If so, it says, did we leave this at room temperature for 30 yes. minutes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Leave the base on until you're ready to inject. Twist the base cap and throw it away in your household trash. Okay, do not touch the needle. Place and unlock. Uh, place and hold the clear base flat and firmly against your skin. Turn the lock ring to the unlock position. And then press and hold for 10 seconds. Let me finish reading it. Press and hold the teal <laughs> ejection button. You will hear a loud click. Keep holding the base firmly against your skin. You will hear a second click in about 10 seconds after the first one. The second click tells you that your injection is complete. Remove the pin from your skin. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. It's like an auto inject. Yeah, so it's going great. You can do it. Here, let me, let me grab the camera. Oh, that's a very large thing. Oh, uh, you weren't supposed to look at it. That was not in the instructions. They should put, they should put that. Do not look at the needle. <laughs> we recommend you do not look. Okay. Okay, hold on. My body's already sore from, like, irking. Okay. Do you want... You got it? You got it. Press and hold for, for 10 seconds. Am I going to be able to reach it? And you turned it to unlock? Not yet. Okay. You're holding out on me. Okay. Don't you think that's a good spot? I think that's perfect. Okay, here she goes. Go, Mary. Go, Mary. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, pull it out. Good job, honey. That hurt. Good job. You did good. Um. Okay, you need a tissue? Um, let me grab that. I'm just bleeding over here. That burns. Oh, I just remembered what my friend told me. What? There was a recommendation. What did she tell me? She said something like, oh. so it doesn't leak. I forget. Okay. Mm -hmm. Becca, let me know what it was you said about not letting it leak. Okay. okay, well, there's good. one. 
Okay. It burns. Um, like the the medication itself. Burns? Yeah. Okay. When you when you do this one, I want to show it up close because you can see the medication go in. It's kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I think that it's probably the best spot I've got. Yeah, I think it's good. Except it's kind of hard to hard to maneuver. Spin around. I mean, I don't think you have to go that far on your side. You could probably do your stomach. I don't know. I don't want to get blood on my sweatshirt. Okay. Um. Your your special run, Boston, two thousand. What year is that 2016. one? Twenty sixteen. Twenty sixteen. I paid. No, I didn't have to pay that much for this one. <laughs> Our original Go sweatshirt. We I found it at a thrift store. For two dollars and fifty cents, and then I loved it so much that I wanted to get another, so I had to buy it online from somebody who was getting rid of it. I think I paid like 20 bucks for this sweatshirt. Anyway, okay, how's it look? I think it looks okay. It looks good. Okay. Great. Okay. I really hope this helps. Me too. Me too. I feel like the headaches are frequent enough that we kind of have a rhythm. I'm like, babe, I feel like I'm going to have a headache today. Yeah. And then we get the ice packs ready. We get the... Okay, that stopped bleeding. That's good. Okay, do the old twist. Okay. Okay, you want to get closer yeah. however you want. Yeah, I'm going to show them how this goes in. Wait, I just washed this, yeah. Wait, I did wash this, right? Yeah. Don't mind my J-tube taped all crazy right now. <laughs> did you see how her J-tube was taped? You're so janky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pulling over. Okay. Okay, does that look good? Okay. Let's see it. Okay. You got this. Oops, I forgot to hold it. You got it. There you go. Okay. Oh. Good job. Good job, honey. Thanks. You did it. Hey, yeah. that was a month's dose, and next month you only have to do one. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. I'm proud of you. I hope it works. It's worth a try. That's what I feel like. I'm yeah. not going to lose hope. There are more options. Yep. But we've got to try. Mm hmm So. Good job, honey. I just think of, you know, I've had 31 years of medical experience, and this feels fairly intimidating. If you are somebody who does not have years and years of medical experience, this probably feels really scary. So my hope is that this video can bring down the fear factor for you and encourage you in whatever you, you've got to do today. Whether, whether it's an injection or just whatever you have that feels daunting. You got this. We're cheering for you. Thanks for showing up. And as always. We'll see you tomorrow. Ollie's ready to come in. Good night. Good night. Oh, good night. Good night. Good night. Waggy waggy. Thanks for helping me. Seriously. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for cheering me on.